What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing you some accessories or attachments that you can use on your PS5 controller. Links to all the products will be in the description. So everything you see here is from PlayVital. PlayVital sells a bunch of accessory gaming stuff. As you can see, some of the stuff they sell are controller covers. These are thumb grips. These are trigger extenders. This to display your controller. And this one's also like a wall display. You can actually hook this on the top of your PS5 console to maybe hold your headset or controllers. First, I'm going to start out with the covers or cases. These are made out of silicone. This transparent white one has some grip on the front handles. It also has cutouts for the mic, the buttons and all of that too. It also comes with some thumbstick grips. These only have one size but there are three types. And these are arranged from some grip to a lot of grip. You can see that barely has anything. Feels nice on the thumbs. This has like a circular grip. And these have the most and that feels pretty nice too. I'm going to show how to put this on. The only problem with these covers is that if you have Extreme Rage Remap Kit, it's not going to be compatible. You can see how that mic back mic cutout is right here. So you see on the back of the controller, it's right here. I guess it could be modified to be put on. And maybe later on I might try it cut around here, maybe up to here, to see if maybe it'll fit the back. But since it's not compatible, I'm going to do it on a regular unmodded controller. I have this one right here. To put it on, I'm going to start with the left side. Just going to open this up. Get the left handle through. Once I got it in, I can grab this top part, just put it around the triggers and bumpers. Then I can slowly push it, pull it. That's when I'll start doing the right side. And can't forget the thumbsticks either. Once it's done, maybe it'll need some adjusting. This is looking good. It feels nice and smooth. I'm liking the grip. And I like that it's transparent. If it had more transparency, that would be nice. But this feels good. I'd say that most of these accessories are for people that don't like customizing their controller by opening up the control. I personally do like modding the controls that way. But I know there's people out there that don't. This is a good alternative for customization. And it'll protect your controller as well. Another problem is that it's not compatible with with charging docks that charge from the bottom at least from the two that i've tried those two charging docks aren't working this cover is on one that i haven't tried is one that uses a charging dongle you would end up putting this on top and then on the charging dock you would just flip the control upside down and that's how it would connect i feel like it would be compatible with that one i just haven't tried it yet so that's definitely the downside i know a lot of people are using charging docks these days the cables are just annoying to put one of the thumbstick grips on i'm going to try to turn this inside out once that's done i'll just place it on one of my controller thumbsticks press down and that should be good i'm gonna try the one with the most grip Definitely liking that one more. Feels bumpy and soft. So this is cool, but if I can't put it on my charging dock, then it's not usable. I know I won't be using this one at all. I almost forgot to show how to take it off. I'm going to grab the top part right here. Pull it towards the side. Get this over the thumbstick. I'll do the right side. From there, I can just pull it off. This next one is the same kind of cover, it's just a different color with different grip. So it's also the same on the back, you can see the grip is different. I feel like this one feels smoother than the last one. And I like the colors, let me just put this on really quick. Alright, so yeah this one feels smoother, I think the one before was more grippy, a little more slippery. So for this, I guess if it had the combination of the last one with the grip, it would probably be better since this one does feel like it can end up moving around a bit. And this has only one type of thumbstick grip. So far what I am liking is their grips. This one feels a little more rough than the last one. This one would probably look better on a all black controller, maybe even white, also pink, and maybe even blue. This next one I think is a lot better for my preference. 
These are pretty much just for the controller handles. Also comes with only one kind of grip. It's just like the last one that I showed. And this one's actually my favorite because of the color. It reminds me of the Daredevil. And if you guys have seen, I got my Daredevil controller right here. This color actually reminds me of the Netflix Daredevil show better. Not only that, since it's only for the handles, it's compatible with remap kits and charging docks that charge from the bottom. Let's put it on. I'm going to start with the right one. This one's very simple. You just got to get it in there. Grab this top part to go with your trigger and bumper. After that, you can just adjust it and that should be good. Yeah, so this one's actually really cool. I wish I would have had the black touchpad. I think that would have made it even better. I used to have it. This is a sticker. So I actually had this on this one before. I ended up changing it to this one because it just looked better on here. Here's the back. So you can already tell if you were to put it on a charging dock, it would work. But by that, I mean a charging dock that's compatible with the remap kit because the original Sony dock doesn't work if you have this on. But I've shown before some charging docks that do work with these remap kits. Out of all three covers, I would say this is probably the one to buy. They do have different colors. So like I said, if anyone wants to check them out, I'll have the links in the description. The next thing to show are some thumb grips. This one has three different sizes. They include extras if needed. It includes two different kind of big ones, two different kind of medium ones, and only one kind of small one. This is what the small one looks like. It has a nice hexagon pattern on the thumb grip. These are the two different kind of medium. Oh, now I see the difference. This one's more domed. This one's more concave with a different pattern that looks like a star. And both of them feel smooth. I'm liking this concave one better. These are the two big ones. Same thing as the medium. You got a concave and a domed hexagon pattern, star pattern. Damn, these are actually really nice. I know I'm going to be using these. Here's the difference in sizes, small, medium, and big. I'm gonna try the medium concave one on the right thumbstick. I just have to flip this over, put it on top of the thumbstick, and then put these flaps back down. And for the left side, I'm going to try the domed big size. It's a bit of a process flipping this over. It is my first time using them. And there you go. That feels really high. I've never used one that's that high. I have these from Hex Gaming. I don't know if they're the longest one or the medium. It looks like they're the longest ones. I think the thumb grip is just a tiny bit longer or bigger than the ones from Hex Gaming. I'm gonna be trying these out later on when I play. Definitely recommend these for anyone who likes thumb grips. They have different type of thumb grips worth taking a look at. This next piece is a display stand. A lot of packaging for this one. So this is all it comes with. This has a nice wave design. It has a smooth feel to it. And it's just your display stand and the grips that go on the bottom. I'm going to install that right now. And this is very easy. Just take one of those circular grips and stick it on the bottom. There it is, quick and simple. It leaves me with two extra grips in case I need it. There's an extreme rate PS5 controller shell that would be able to match with this display stand. Unfortunately, I don't have that one, but this looks sick. It's making me want to customize this control to have the wave design on it now. And this is what it would look like. What sucks about the display stand is that it's only compatible with the unmodded PS5 controllers. If you have a remap kit installed, I wouldn't recommend it. Like you'll still be able to use it, but not as it was intended. It's supposed to go more down. This is as far as it'll go. So it's still usable, just not perfectly. This next one is a universal controller mount, but you could also put your headset on it. I don't have any plans on mounting it to the wall. At least not at the moment. Maybe later on I'll decide to do that. And if I do, I'll probably show how to mount that. So this is what you would use to mount it. If you're not going to mount it that way, then all you would do is take this piece out. You can see now it has like a hook. And that's what you would be able to hook on top of the PS5. And just as an example, this is how it hooks on. Here's my unmodded controller. I'm just going to place that on the mount that's what it would look like and i'm really sorry i really wish there was a better way to show this but at the moment this is the only way i have to be able to show and also here's one with a remap kit 
so it is going to fit differently but it'll still hold it and if i wanted to i could also place my headset on top this is something that i've actually been needing i needed a spot to put my headset on and this would be it the last thing i'm going to show are the trigger bumper extenders it comes in a nice little pouch it's going to bring wet wipes two dry ones two dry cloths these are double-sided stickers and the trigger extenders so this i got to install specifically on this control because of the color it's going to bring extras in case you ever need them i'm just going to grab one for each trigger and bumper if you turn it around you can see it'll show either left or right and i'm just going to need one dry cloth and one wet wipe for the wipes it actually has a wet and a dry one but i'm not going to use the dry one i'll pretty much just dry it with this cloth right here so now i'm just grabbing one wet cloth i'm going to clean my bumpers and triggers dry it up after using the wet wipe i'm going to do the same for the extenders Now I just need to grab one set of double-sided stickers. I'm going to start by peeling off for the L and R triggers. This one's going to be for the R2. And this one for L2. Once I have them on, I'm just going to squish on them to stick them down more. And I'm going to do my L and R bumpers. This one's going to be for R1. This one's my L1. Now I can peel this off to install the bumper extenders. I'm just going to make sure I know where this one goes. This one says left, so I'll put that on my L1. And this one is for R1. This one's going to be for R2. And the last one is L2. Once all of that is done, just make sure you press on them so it can be a nice tight fit. The double-sided stickers are actually pretty strong. If you ever want to take them out, you're actually going to have to twist back and forth to get this out. It might even come out with a sticker under it. If it doesn't, sometimes even a heat gun or maybe even a blow dryer can help to loosen it up. This controller from Hex Gaming is not just modded with back buttons, but also has what they call hair triggers. I don't have to push these all the way down for them to activate. You can see how far down it goes for it to activate so it's the same for bumpers and triggers this might be kind of fun to use since it's modded that way i've seen this before and thought about trying them so i'm wondering what this experience is going to be like the items i'm happy about and ready to use are going to be the trigger extenders this protective case i like that it's compatible with the charging dock and remap kits definitely going to be using this universal controller mount the display stand and these thumb grips the other items i'm probably not going to use this protective case Probably not. I have four controllers in total, three of which have remap kits. Since these are incompatible with remap kits, I won't be able to use them. I only recommend these if you have a regular control and you charge it with the wire, or like I mentioned before, a charging dock that charges this way from the top and not the bottom. This was my first time using products from Play Vital, and besides these covers, everything else I'm actually really satisfied with. So I would recommend some of these items for anyone who doesn't like customizing their controls by opening it up. This is an easier and simpler way to customize and make your controller look nice. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm going to be working on a different video. It's going to be an installation video, but it won't be for anything PS5 related. So when it does release, I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Like always, thank you guys for the continuous support and I'll be back with another one.